What's up guys? Welcome back. If you're new here, hello. My name is Shai here at the Pumpkin Patch. Uh, I homeschool my two girls that are ages 9 and 4, and they are in 4th grade in kindergarten this 2019-2020 school year. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you uh, what we did for our geography unit uh, for my 4th grader. The main spine or curriculum that we followed was core knowledge's um, units on continents, countries, and maps, and their exploring maps and world mountains uh, unit. Uh, we didn't do the world mountains part because uh, we just decided to skip it. It was more just about mountains than like actual geography and such. Uh, but this is the reader. Uh, the con continents, countries, and maps covered uh, all of this. So finding a way around North America, uh, the United States, Canada, and Mexico, and Central America, uh, South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia, Australia, Antarctica, and they had some fun facts at the end. Uh, this is just a really nice colored reader. It's an easy reader. Um, this unit was for... I don't remember the grade, but we don't really pay attention to the grades, just the topic and um, what information it has in it. So this is probably for like a second grade rather than fourth, but it was just like a great introductory type unit uh, since you hadn't done any of this kind of stuff in public school and we've only been homeschooling uh, since last year. Um, this is the Exploring Maps and World Mountains section. This one covered uh, measuring distances on a map, latitude and longitude, finding places on a map, time zones, and how to read physical maps. Now uh, this one's a little bit more um, wordier or lengthier than this other one, uh, but still really cool illustrations and maps. Um, they have vocabulary built into them uh, and then big questions for their each chapter uh, to think about uh, as you read. Glossary at the end. Um, this is the main teacher guide. This is what or where I can um, like ask questions as we read. Uh, it gives you like all this lesson uh, planning stuff in the beginning. Uh, but once you get to it, it gives you um, the big question again, vocabulary within the book or the chapter. Um, it tells you what activity pages uh, that you can do. Uh, these are the type of questions you can ask as you read each page. I like that these um, units do that, so I'm not just, like scrambling trying to um, what to ask. They're just all like right there for me, and they give you answers of what a general idea of what um, the student should say back to you. Uh, that's basically how that goes. Uh, through the whole thing, and then. This is the exploring maps one. It gives another big idea and introduction and the lesson plans. Again, it tells you the um, activity pages that you'll be doing for this chapter. Um, notes, a list of vocabulary again. Just information uh, to get going. Then again, as you read, you'll ask questions um, and have them answer it and it gives you an idea of what they should be saying. So it's pretty much how these teacher guides go. They're pretty helpful. And then there's this. We didn't use this too much um, since most of it was just like map work and finding things on the given maps. But they do have worksheets and stuff that go along with their units. Now uh, this one just wasn't like as interactive sort of as most but they give good maps. Uh, and then for this one, they also gave uh, a chapter overview of the main topics to understand and um, what the students should know um, for each chapter, or the main points, basically. So that's pretty cool to make them, or to give a, an idea of what uh, they should be getting out of the story. Uh, this is an assessment. Most units have the assessments that you can do. Uh, they're pretty short for these ones. Uh, and then these are pictures that went along with the questions if they needed a visual. 
Um, that's how those ones were. And then for the exploring maps one, same thing. Uh, but we did more map work and following, um, trying to find different routes. Uh, this first one here was uh, mapping out Paul Revere's um, ride. Yeah, these are road finding um, highways and then just finding different um, longitude and latitude lines and learning about how to use those. And then there's some of these kind of pages thrown in, uh, just uh, for like vocabulary and uh, understanding and stuff. This one's about time zones. Uh, that was cool. Um, here's a crossword. I didn't have a write them in the actual boxes. We just numbered them and labeled them over here. And yeah, that's how that one went. Uh, Core Knowledge has a lot of free downloadable um, curriculum uh, on their site that I'll link down below. Um, next part of the curriculum that we've been doing is this geography and maps uh, kids discover magazines. Uh, they come with these online they have these teacher guides um, with before you get ready to read true and false questions so they guess over on this side, then as you read, you, they can answer them. Um, everything visual. These um, worksheets go along with the magazines rather than their online units. So that's why I'd prefer uh, getting the magazines over their online subscription, because otherwise you don't really correlate with them. Uh, this is just the answer key uh, that you can also have. Uh, in the teacher guide, there's also, for each page, some discussion questions. So it's really awesome that they include those. Uh, answer key for the true and false. And then this is um, the other worksheet for uh, it's in the reading. It tells you over here uh, where the answers would be or on what pages. Um, so if they want to do it independently or you can just work on it together. And they usually have um, two full pages and then a written question at the bottom. Uh, the geography one didn't have any of those. So some don't, but those are all for the MAPS magazine. Uh, this one's just talking about uh, just different MAPS, how when they first were created or and used. Uh, exploring. They just have really great illustrations and like how MAPS are made, what kinds of MAPS there are. Uh, they're just packed full of information and just really great topical uh, resources to use. And that then there's usually ac activities for them to do uh, with answers on the back. Uh, this is the geography one. Uh, time zones, that was really fun to learn about. We looked up some on um, the laptop. Those are those. Uh, I'm going to show you um, some pictures real quick of the maps uh, that we found at our local library and the ones we have up on the wall now. Uh, this is just a picture of the really cool classic globe that we got from um, a really cool farm barn sale. Uh, we got it for like 25 bucks. So it's pretty awesome we were able to find it just before our geography unit started. Now this one was just um, maps that I like resized and then printed on four separate sheets of paper and then taped them together just because we didn't have any maps at the time. So I was pretty excited when we found our, our library uh, maps. Uh, here's the two wall maps that I replaced um, those pre-made maps with. Uh, they look a lot better. <laughs> this was just a note that was in the um, basket of maps when I first found them at the library. So apparently they're, most of them are just National Geographic maps from the 1960s to 1989, uh, apparently. But there's newer ones too, I think, than ones that aren't even National Geographic, but still. Uh, these maps are like history ones. I was really excited about um, the Greeks map 
Uh, I wish we had the e ancient Egypt one back from when we uh, did our Egypt unit last year. And I was really hoping there was a Roman one too, but we didn't see it. Um, so this is one on Incas, uh, middle, medieval England, the Mongols, uh, early humans, uh, early uh, like animals and stuff like that. Uh, whales of the world, bird migration. Uh, this, these next ones are just one about the U.S. federal lands. Uh, Grand Canyon one, one about water and Caspian Sea. Um, big, the big world maps that are on the wall now. Uh, the top uh, right corner are three really cool um, ocean floor maps. It's missing the Atlantic, I think of those three, which is a bummer, but still, they're pretty cool. Um, and then there's a couple on space, like the Orion, Neb Orion Nebula, the Earth's moon map is really cool. Uh, the Sun, Milky Way, that's stuff for that. Quite a few on Mount Everest. Uh, plate tectonics one, the Earth's fractured surface, that's really cool. Uh, these ones were just kind of random ones, but also ones about like, like war, like the two Koreas and their issues, Middle East. Soviet Union, the Civil War, the Balkans, um, and then a couple random ones are on flight, uh, soccer around the world, and communism and capitalism. Um, I'm gonna try to take pictures of every one of these and um, post them in my Facebook group. Uh, so if one of them interested in you, you'll be able to see what they actually look like and maybe get it yourself if you wanted. Uh, I'll either have a link um, with this video, but if not, just keep a lookout uh, on my Facebook group. Uh, these ones, uh, something about Mars, which should have been in the other picture, but uh, this How Man Pollutes His World is really cool um, pollution visual on how like filthy humans are pretty much and how it's destroying with like this oil river and yeah, it's really awesome. I'll, yeah, <laughs> you'll just have to look at the pictures um, after I get them all taken and put up. And then it's the African threatened animals, uh, the Amazon, and um, those endangered species. Uh, these maps were about, um, a lot of them were like Native American uh, maps and like where they're, um, like where they lived through the United States. Uh, there's one about where Columbus discovered America. That's going to be pretty cool to look at when uh, we do our American history explorers. Um, units. There's one about suction treasure, lost and found. That's going to be really cool for like a pirate's unit that I want to do. So these ones are really awesome to have found. Uh, there's ones about historical France and Philippines, um, historical Mediterranean, uh, and historical Italy. Uh, these next ones are about uh, like different peoples. So like peoples of Southeast Asia, uh, China, of the Arctic, Africa, California. There's even a Michigan one. <laughs> uh, the back then, a trip uh, like this was no vacation. That's about Utah, I believe. Uh, there's a cultures and population kind of map. Uh, these next ones cover like the Arctic Ocean, Indonesia, and like specific like kind of places, like the British Isles, uh, the West Indies, Mexico, China, Canada's vacation land. Uh, and then all these are like, uh, they're all labeled like the making of America. So these are just all specific places uh, in America. And then there's um, the close up of USA, I think, has all of these states. So, yeah. And they cover like four or more different states. That's pretty cool. Or in each map. Uh, and then the making of America is like the Southwest, Ohio Valley, uh, the Deep South, Far West. Hawaii, Alaska, stuff like that. So it's pretty awesome. And it would be great for when we do like US geography and um, just general American history stuff. Uh, these next ones are about um, the Can like same as the US ones, but more about Canada. So it's Prairie Provinces, British Columbia, um, Quebec and stuff. Uh, and then these last ones are about um, just like roadmap type of specific areas, but they're really uh, cool still. So like France, France or West Indies, Canada, um, 
Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and Thailand, Southern Africa, Southeast Asia, Antarctica, Japan, um, New England, Europe, Mexico, the Middle East, the Balkans, um, the Holy Land today, Washington to Boston. So, yeah. Like I said, I'll try to get uh, pictures of each one of these front and back if they have it up in my Facebook group so everybody can see what they actually are. Because there's some really, really cool maps in here. And I can't believe they let me take the whole basket. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to show you some um, single topical type of maps that we've been looking at for the past two weeks. For the last weeks of our geography unit. I forgot exactly where I got these, but I will find it and I have it linked below. Uh, but I thought they were really cool. We've just been checking one out um, every day the last couple of weeks. Uh, this one's just the World Continents and Oceans. Uh, great lines and divisions, so longitude and latitude in their names. Uh, major world biomes. Uh, the world seas, bays, and gulfs. I just thought they were really cool, like, um, maps, like, yeah, just to, uh, for different, the different things, like, here's tectonic plates, earthquakes, and tsunamis, uh, like, the main areas where they're at. Uh, this one's world deserts, plains, and plateaus. Uh, world's river systems. Islands around the world. Uh, the world's volcanoes, uh, mountain ranges, uh, where hurricanes and tornadoes mostly are, and then this one's about mineral distribution. And then I found this picture uh, just googling. It's really great um, to explain what the different like landforms are. So like glaciers, valleys, swamps, jungle, uh, rivers, deserts, cliffs, plains, ponds, marshes. <laughs> it's just a really cool visual that we had, had up on the wall. Lastly, we'll show you um, the books we were using for this unit. We didn't have very many, and we didn't do any projects uh, for this unit, but it's hard, kind of hard to find geography projects, uh, for me anyway. Uh, if you any, have any like suggestions for a type of geography project, uh, let me know. <laughs> uh, this one is about types of maps uh, from Scholastic. Uh, this one is really cool. Uh, it covered uh, story maps and how they were made, physical maps, political maps, historical maps, and then uh, their different jobs. This is great, uh, just a great informational book and easy read that uh, I had my daughter read to me. These ones are really nice. This one was just about um, reading maps, also by Scholastic. Uh, this one uh, talked about making sense of a map, finding direction, longitude and latitude, uh, the trouble with longitude, uh, the reading legend, and online maps. Just simple fun informational books. Uh, this one was pretty cool. I got this at um, our local Aldi store. Uh, it's just a sticker book. Um, it goes through how to use this book. Then it gets it to North America, Central America, and the Caribbean, South America, Western Europe, Southern Eastern Europe, Scandinavia, Russia, Russia and Central Asia, China and Southern Asia, Northern Africa, Southern Africa, the Middle East, Australia, New Zealand, and Oceania, and then around the world quiz. Uh, based on what you read. So here's how to use it. Uh, and then these are what the full like maps look like to where you put the stickers. Uh, with a little bit of information up here at the top. And then after the maps it goes into information about that area or that continent. Uh, main um, like geographical landmarks like the Mount Rushmore, Niagara Falls, um, Meteor Crater, and then Culture, Day of the Dead in Mexico. And then it goes on to South America. And then more about that. Machu Picchu. 
uh, Easter Island. Uh, this is just a really cool, great informational book. Uh, just to get a little insight on the main um, like type of landmarks or big hit, like history related things. And then the quiz looks like this. Just a fun little like comprehension if you remember what you read uh, as you did it. I reread these books um, just a few pages or chapters at a time. Like wasn't all in one day. Just to stretch them out and make have fun with them. Uh, and then we had the Reader's Digest World Atlas. We read this whole thing <laughs> pretty much. Um, each continent that we went to. Um, we did it like one continent like every two to three days uh, and we read the sections on that continent within those three days. Uh, and then these introductory ones, so about the physical world maps, climate and vegetation map, uh, world animals. This is just a really great like visual type of uh, book to use and read about the different areas around the world. Languages and religions. Minerals and industry, and then gets into the continents. So North America gives you all the map or not maps, um, flags of the different countries uh, within North America. Uh, information about it. Then it gets into the specific parts of that continent. So here's about Canada and uh, main um, agriculture and um, resources that they get from those areas. Um, great uh, map sections. I'm sorry, that's my dog. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much how this whole book goes through. But we read each page of this. It was really just really great um, learning about the different areas and um, how they lived and um, what was the main like resource that the world gets from that area. It's just really cool. It's an older type of book, but it was a great read, I think. And then we also got this one, Maps. Um, this is a big pictures book. Um, there's a little bit of text just to explain what each um, picture is, pretty much. Um, but it goes through all these different areas and continents. And then in each one, it will do the um, how many countries the area has first on the continent. Uh, their population and then the size along with the, um, a scale it gives a lot of great animals um, that live around the area uh, as well as food, um, attractions, uh, just stuff like that. So this is Iceland. That's what the informational part looks like along with their flags, uh, clothes that they wear, all sorts of stuff. So this is just a really fun visual book um, to use. If this was mine, I probably would have tore the pages out and just hung them up on the wall. Uh, just because I like them and how they look. But that's how this book went through. And through all the continents and the different countries. There's a lot on Europe and Asia, as you can imagine. <laughs> so that was pretty fun. Uh, and then, of course, we had Usborne's Geography Encyclopedia. We meant to read the section for each of the continents in this, but we didn't actually get to it. We read a few, but... Uh, so we were going to cover peoples of North America, people in the world, South America, and then all their um, maps. But we only got halfway through, because these are actually due like a week ago. <laughs> we just haven't returned them yet, because I wanted to make this video. Um, but we lost interest kind of in reading. I just wanted to like browse maps uh, like the library ones I showed you earlier. Um, but it's Usborne so a really great um, visual type of book with good information. So these are the maps section that we were going to go through and then the people's uh, sections look something like this. It's really good information about the areas. Uh, 
in our last book was uh, Smithsonian's Geography. Uh, for this one, we were going to read uh, the Mapping of the World in Country Fact Files. Uh, so it talks about different maps in the continents and then facts about those uh, continents. So this is what Mapping of the World sections look like. Uh, it just talks about the different types of um, maps and then about the uh, continents themselves with information about each along with a really um, good illustrated map of each one. And then the fact files went more into depth about the different uh, countries within those continents. Um, stuff like area, uh, population, the capitals, currency, language, life expectancy even uh, with some images thrown in. So this is a really great um, like culture type of section to read if you're doing like a culture study. And yeah, and that's pretty much what we did for geography. We're just finishing up the maps. Um, Kids Discover magazine, uh, studying some of the maps and going through the ones we got from the library just to look at them and see how they are. Now this unit wasn't as activity or hands-on material um, involved as I would have liked, but there's really not too much out there that I could find anyway for like a geography unit, but it's still a pretty cool unit uh, to help learn about the different peoples and places around the world um, and to like learn about how to read longitude and latitude and like minutes and seconds within the coordinates and stuff like that. Um, uh, next we'll be doing an ancient Greece unit uh, for world history. That'll have a lot more stuff in it and involved. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, you can follow me on social media on Facebook um, at, on my page, or I have my Facebook group linked down below as well uh, on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, if you like, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching. Bye.